On the outside, the 11 inch version of the 2012 MacBook Air looks the same as last year's model. But what about on the inside? Let's crack the case and find out. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. The 11 inch Air is Apple's smallest, lightest, and lowest priced laptop. And while the company didn't make any big design changes to the 2012 Air, Apple did make several significant hardware improvements. For starters, Intel's third generation Ivy Bridge processors now power the Air. A 1.7 GHz dual core Core i5 processor comes standard, but our test machine had a 2 GHz Core i7. The 2012 Airs also come with Intel's HD Graphics 4000, a step up from the older model's HD Graphics 3000 system. In addition to the more powerful processor and graphics, Apple also beefed up the RAM and available storage. The 2012 Air can support up to 8 gigs of RAM compared to the 2011's 4, and the chips are also faster, 1600 megahertz compared to the old model's 1333 megahertz. As for storage, the new Air can be configured with up to 512 gigs, which is twice the max capacity of last year's version. And rounding out the upgrades are a new 720p FaceTime camera, a pair of USB 3 ports, and Apple's new MagSafe 2 power connector. Now, despite all these hardware updates, the 2011 and 2012 11-inch Airs have identical internal hardware layouts. There's a large battery, two speakers on either side, a small I.O. board, single cooling fan, and motherboard. And just like this year's 13-inch Air, the battery is identical to last year's model. So what's not to like about the new 11-inch Air? Well, nothing too serious. There's no SD card slot, as there is on the 13-inch Air. The base model's 64-gig SSD seems a bit small, given the machine's $999 price tag. And for those accustomed to a standard laptop, the machine's 11-inch screen may take some getting used to. As is its larger sibling, the 2012 11-inch Air is a solid update to the line. Just remember, you can't upgrade it, so get all the RAM, storage, and processing power you'll need when you buy it. For more information on the 2012 Air, including performance and battery life benchmark tests, check out Scott Stein's full CNET review. And to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.